Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. Number one is a soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. Number two is a hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. And number three is the S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The multiple impact test is when we drop a helmet to achieve a velocity of 4.57 meters per second. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The same helmet is tested three times in the same location. The helmet must reduce the energy pulse to under 300 Gs each time. Anything over 300 Gs can result in a traumatic brain injury or a severe concussion. We have the soft foam helmet test results here. On the first hit, this helmet registered an 852 peak G. So that's a fail right off the bat. We can't actually test this helmet anymore because it would damage the equipment. So this helmet fails multiple impact testing. We have the results for the hockey helmet here. On the first hit, we registered a 248.51 peak G. On the second hit, we registered a 339.46 peak G. And on the third hit, a 381.28 peak G. Those hits fail the multiple impact tests. We've got the testing results for the S1 Lifer helmet. On the first hit, we registered 170.22 peak G. On the second hit, we had a 219.34 peak G. And on the third hit, we registered a 244.63 peak G. The S1 Lifer helmet passes the multiple impact test. In summary, the soft foam helmet with EVA foam and the hockey helmet with triple density foam did not pass the multiple impact test. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam did pass the multiple impact test.